Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much, have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trayvon's RV Center. Here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Jayco Greyhawk 29MV motorhome. You guys have picked a beautiful motorhome here. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. Let's first start talking about arriving at the campsite. Parking. My slides are in right now, but once these slides are out, you'll be able to tell how much room you're gonna need. Make sure you have ample room for those to come in and out, preferably nothing hanging over top of them, even though you had slide cover covers. Then I want you to think about where your power and water hookups are. Your power's on your off camp side, right up underneath your slide. Cord stores in there, 30 amp service. At the end of that 30 amp service, if you need it, we have a 30 to 110 adapter. Not on there, but that'll be in your, oh there it is. That'll be on your convenience pack. 30 down to 110. And where your water is. Your city water connect for campsites is gonna be right above your rear tire. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities and you got plenty of room for your slides to come out. Got our unit parked. First thing we're gonna do is bring down our auto leveling system. Come right here inside your entry doorway. Hold this button on the right for it to turn on. First, your key has to be turned to on. You have to have power on to the unit. Not started. Turn it on over here. And simply hit your auto level. Your auto level is gonna bring up, down all your feet nice and level for you. Once you got your unit level, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our water and power. Coming over on your off camp side again, your 30 amp service, your 30 to 110 adapter. Here's your city water connect. First and foremost, use a water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is gonna reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in your unit. Always use this when hooking up your city water or using your black tank flush. Go ahead and put that on there, hook up your hose, but don't turn it on yet. Come down here to your rear passage on your off camp side. They made it real easy for you. Two knobs. We're hooking up to city fixtures. We want it at the left one at two and the right one at six. Now we're all set up for city water. City tank fill is one and six. Country fill, which is uh, going off grid and using potable water. Sanitizing, winterizing. Simply switch that to where you want to and then you can put your fluid inside your unit. Once you've got that switched over, we're going to go ahead and find your hot water heater before turning this water on. Coming around to the front of the unit on your campsite here is your hot water heater. All we're doing at this point is returning our drain plug. We may have left it out from the last time we were camping. Go ahead and put your drain plug back in and then you can go ahead and turn on your water. After your water's been on for a little while, you're gonna come up here to this pressure release valve. You're gonna pull on that and it's gonna release air out of the lines until you get a nice steady flow of water coming out of here. And you know your hot water heater is full and you can start it from indoors. Got our water hooked up, electricity hooked up. I'm gonna walk you around the unit, show you a few other things on the outside. I'll start here on the campsite. We got storage here, outdoor speakers. 
your awning. I'll run that out shortly to show you how far to run that out. Here's your propane. Here's where you check your levels. Quick connect right there to fill. Again, your hot water heater. Below that, some more storage. This is your furnace heat release. If you're running your furnace, steer clear of this, it'll get rather warm. This is access to the back of your fridge. That's a hood for your microwave. More storage here. Outdoor speaker. Storage in there. You have your ladder to go up and check your seams. Caulk as needed. There's your backup camera. That works right up on your dash when you're sitting on the back side of your off cap side, your low point drain. That'll be for your fresh water. Needs to be for your other tanks. That's the handles where you dump your sewage. Like there's your sewage hose. There's where you'll fuel up. Over here next to your city water connection is your black tank flush. We'll talk about that when leaving the campsite. You also have an outdoor shower. More storage, quite a bit of storage on the outside. And then your generator. Open that up. We'll open that up and start that from the inside here shortly. That about covers all your main camping on the outside. Let's take a look on the inside. Right inside your steps here is your access panel to your um, house batteries. Get that opened up here. To the left here is your auto leveling system. You're on and in and out. We'll run that out real quick, show you how far to run those out. To the right of that is your main power for the whole unit. To the right of that is an awning light. And you can turn on your outdoor speaker there. This is your 12 volt carbon monoxide detector. The reason I mentioned this 12 volt is always running off your battery. So if you're going to be gone for the day just and uh, nothing charging your battery up, use battery disconnect to keep that from running your battery down. Up here's your power step on and off. One thing I want to mention on the power step, kind of easy to wait for it on the way in, but on your way out, make sure it opens up so you don't step down on it as it's coming out and trip. Exterior lights on. Here's your awning. I'm going to run that out as far as you need it. Run it out just until that flat falls down to 90 degrees and you can see your lights. That's when you know your awning's out far enough. A little USB. 110 that you can store in here. Up here's your control panel. Start your generator up. Here it goes. Walk you around and show you that running real quick. Nice owning 4000s, running nicely. Quickly shut that off. Save on your gas. Just come up here and hit start, stop. Here's where your slides are going in and out. I have them out now. Here's where you check your levels. Your brand new battery, fresh black and gray tanks, empty. When you're filling up your your uh, fresh water for dry docking. It's another way that you keep an eye and tell when it's full. Down here is where you turn on your tank heaters if you're in inclement weather. Here's where you turn on your water pump if you're using potable water. Here's where you turn on your water heater if you're hooked to gas. Over here if you're hooked to electricity. Coming through the unit, you do got a lot of highlighting lights to go through. Self-explanatory microwave. Let's go down to your stove here. This glass top makes an excellent backsplash. You have a nice panel light here. Turn on your gas, hit your spark, and there's your flame. Put your light down to the bottom for your oven. Talk about your Nordic cold fridge. So right here is where you turn it on. Different modes. Auto, AC, or LP. 
auto. Means that when you're hooked up to power, it's automatically running off the power. As soon as you unplug, it goes to gas. Other mode is just AC, that's just power, or just gas. Set your temperatures on here, nine being the coldest. Into your bathroom here. Just want to mention that you do have some plumbing to maintain in, underneath here. I just realized as I got back here, the slides are not open. I'm going to show you how to run them up real quick. Slide one, hit extend. That's going to be your living room slide. It'll quickly run out. I want you to hear how silent that is. Same thing in the bedroom. Hit extend on your bottom one. And that one will run out quickly as well. Come back here on the wall. Here's your thermostat. Change your mode from off to fan, high and low, to air conditioning, high and low, to auto, to heat, electric, gas, or off. Here's your power control system. Right now you're in 30 amp service. It shows you what you're running off from. Everything is powered. Your AC duct here. Back into your bedroom. Your TV, your TV will lift up for storage up underneath there. Remotes in the drawers. Let's see if it had a booster, it doesn't. Your individual lights up here. Touch what's for blue, hold it in for white. You have a fantastic vent fan back here. There's a button to open up the fan and then turn it on. These have been around for years. They're super strong. Give you a nice circulation through the unit. You also have a privacy door back here. One snaps here in accordions. Make sure to have that snapped on for travel. Same thing in the shower. Shower opens all the way up here. For travel, you want to make sure you've got this pulled all the way back and lock back down. Up here's your bunk area, of course. I want to talk to you about your TV real quick. Up here is a little green button. When you get to the campsite, make sure that green light is on before you scan for your digital channels. That's a digital channel enhancer and allow you to pick up more channels. Your bunk area, these seats will set on your chairs. So you can spin your chairs around and set level with the back seat. Simply flip this forward for your top bunk. That about covers everything on the inside. It's act like we're leaving the campsite and close everything up. What I want you to do is check your bedroom. Make sure that nothing's on the floor. It's going to hinder that slide from coming in or out. And same thing in the living room. Just nothing in the way of this slide. So we can bring in everything smoothly. I'll bring in the bunk first, or the bedroom area. If you brought in these slides, you can go through, you can shut off your main interior lights here, and then go through and see what lights are still left open, left on, because a lot of them are individually turned on. See your living room slide comes in rather quickly. So coming down here and shutting off our interior lights shows me several that need to be hand done. So I'll go through and shut off all these. Again now as we're closing up in order to have power over here you have to turn on your power to the unit. You just simply hit retract all. That retract is going to bring all of the levels up. These are if you're on uneven ground if you need to bring individual ones up and down. Come out, close your unit, lock and deadbolt your door. And come around to the other side of the unit, 
we've closed everything up we're gonna empty this low point drain then we're gonna go in here and open up both of these low point drains after you've done that come to your hot water heater which is back over on the campsite over here you can bleed the water out of the lines and then you're gonna pull your drain plug Use a socket, because that will be hot water coming out of there. So use a socket to get that out of there. Got everything drained. Going to go ahead and head on up to the dump station. Drive to the dump station. Line up the rear of your trailer with the dumping area. Hook up your sewage hose. Pull your black tank handle. After that black tank handle has been running for a while and it sounds like it's no longer draining, you're going to come over to your black tank flush. Again, using your water pressure regulator, you're going to hook this hose up to the hose, hook this up to the hose at the dump station and run that for a good solid five minutes. That's going to wash all the nastiness out of your black tanks. Then you can shut that water off, come back here, then close your holding tank and pull your gray tank. Your gray tanks will be your cleaner waters, your sinks, and your showers. It's going to clean your sewage hose out for you, which you can then conveniently store in your bumper. Again, you guys have picked an amazing motorhome. Hope you guys enjoy it for many years to come. Happy camping.